Let's discuss replacing the cam sensor on a GM 6.2 liter. Now you'll see it's a pretty straightforward cam sensor. We've got the O-ring here which will seal it in place and one bolt holding it in place. Now where is it located? Well it's just below the water pump off the front of the engine here. And so there's a little protective bracket here holding it in place along with a little pigtail connector. So what we're going to do is take our 10 millimeter socket a short extension and a ratchet and simply remove the protective bracket. Now there's one more bolt that you can access from the bottom, another 10 millimeter socket used on that and so then the thing will start to work free. Now there's a slotted hole also with a bolt that's hidden behind the crank pulley here. So you can slide it out of that and get your bracket out of the way. Simply press on the tab to release the wire connector there and then we'll rotate the sensor back and forth and gently work it out. We certainly don't want to break it off inside the engine there or we'll be fishing pieces out but we can work it back and forth here and gently pull it out and get ready to install our new sensor. Now we've got our new sensor in hand. I'm going to take a little bit of assembly lube. If you don't have that maybe a Vaseline or a petroleum lubricant, just not a silicone lubricant is recommended to install and lube up this o-ring. Then we'll go back down below and install this in the bore carefully. We don't want to force anything here, but we'll get it installed back into its original position. Now once we've got it in place, we're going to reinstall our electrical connector here, plug it back in, and then it will work to make sure that the bracket gets installed properly as well. It's very important to have this bracket there so the wiring doesn't get sucked into the crank pulley here causing any wire damage. Once that's done, the job will be complete. We've just gone ahead and replaced the cam sensor on this GM 6.2 liter.